What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So we have been getting lots of comments and I have also seen on OnePlus forum that many users are facing issues with the Widevine security level. It seems with few previous updates by OnePlus most users have got Widevine security level as L3 and due to which people cannot enjoy HD content on OTT platforms. And that also happened with the people who have downgraded their device to Android 10 for example OnePlus 7 series users. And the same thing happened with me too. Here you can see this is my OnePlus 7 Pro. Due to stability issues, I downgraded my device to Oxygen OS 10 final build which was Oxygen OS 10.3.8. And soon I downgraded to this build Widevine security level drop to L3. And here you can see that. So I tried a lot to fix this issue myself and I also saw few posts on community forum enabling or disabling biometric authentication would help. So I tried all those steps nothing worked out for me my device widevine security level was at L3 so later I thought why not directly contact OnePlus regarding the same issue and I wanted to know what OnePlus going to do to fix this widevine issue on OnePlus devices specifically on my OnePlus 7 Pro so that I can make a video for you guys and trust me guys I was not at all happy with the OnePlus support team I'll show you the conversation what happened between me and OnePlus support team First of all they took around 10 days to start the remote flashing process and once they started they had the remote access of my PC and I was continuously chatting with that guy who was allocated to fix this issue he started the flashing process and when I asked him now which OS I will have this was the reply from OnePlus executive factory OS to the latest firmware then again I asked him like android version and he told me android version will be 11.0.4.1 and when i told him that's android 11 i want android 10 on my device with widevine security level as l1 so this was the reply from him this is the latest one other files which did not work is android 10 and later i also messaged him i want l1 on android 10 his reply was flashing is successful unplug the device and use it and he said we will not be able to downgrade the device to android 10 if we want l1 on our device then we have to use the latest build from oneplus which is based on oxygen os 11 i seriously don't understand why oneplus can't fix the issue of widevine on android 10 show me have already given an option in the security section on few of their devices in which an individual can download the widevine security certificate directly from the security section of their device So right now to fix widevine certificate on OnePlus phones make sure you are using the latest build of OS which is present for your particular device and for those who are on the latest build and still they have the widevine security level as L3 then just follow these steps now and also if you are running Android 10 I would recommend you guys to use the unbrick tools given in the description below and follow these steps to get your device on stock OS I have updated all the latest unbrick tools which are available right now for few devices Android 11 unbrick tools are still not available but you can flash the latest unbrick tool given in the description below and after that you can use the system update section to update your device to the latest build also you need to keep one thing in mind before downloading the unbrick tool just check the build number of your device for example i have OnePlus 7 Pro and here you can see it says Oxygen OS 10.3.8 GM 21 AA So everything can be found in the description below. Make sure to use the correct unbrick tool given in the description below. And now let's start with the flashing process to fix the widevine security level on OnePlus phones. So to fix widevine security level issues on your OnePlus phones, we only have one way to go and that's use the latest build of software present for your particular device. Also if you're using the latest build and still you are having widevine security level as L3, then use the unbrick tools. So in the description you will see all the collection of unbrick tools starting from OnePlus X up to OnePlus Nord series. So I have included almost all the devices here. Just download the correct firmware for your device and if you guys face any kind of issues, for example, your device doesn't get recognized in unbrick tools, then just follow this video guide that can also be found in the description below. And now starting with the process, first of all you need the unbrick tool Unbrick tools are in the format of zip file you need to extract them and on your device make sure to take a backup of your device because using unbrick tools will completely wipe the data from your device and your device will be on factory os so soon you extract the file you will find a file called msm download tool avoid using this second one which says factory at the end so what you have to do is just right click on this msm tool 
and run as administrator after that a windows will pop up and if you don't see anything here under com then there's a issue with the qualcomm drivers so as i said just follow this video guide this will help you fix the qualcomm drivers and to use msm tool we need to boot a device into edl mode which is emergency download mode so here are the key combinations of all oneplus phones by which you can boot your device into edl mode first you have to power off your device starting from oneplus 1 to oneplus 5 series the combination is once the device is powered off you need to press and hold the volume up key and then connect your device to pc before connecting make sure you have opened up the msm tool and starting from oneplus 6 series the combination is first power off your device later you need to hold volume up and down key together you need to keep holding them and then connect your device to pc so here we have our oneplus 7 pro let me show you widevine security level right now on this device and here you can see under drm info security level is l3 and we are running oxygen os 10 final build so first what we'll do is we'll power off the device once the device is powered off just leave it for 5 to 10 seconds and as said the key combination after oneplus 6 series is we need to hold volume up and down key together and later connect the device to pc so here we have our oneplus 7 pro so let's press both the keys volume up and down together and insert the data cable soon you insert the data cable on your pc you can see under status of connection it says connected now you just have to tap on start and wait for the process to complete if you get any errors like sahara communication failed or something else then just try to change the usb port on your pc and give it a fresh try so this process might take around 5 to 10 minutes and there we go we have successfully flashed the latest firmware or the factory image on a particular device and now we should have wideband security level of l1 once the process is completed the device will automatically boot up so our device have been successfully booted up i'll just complete the initial setup first and after that we'll sideload the drm info apk and we'll show you whether the certification have restored to l1 or not so now we have successfully installed the drm info application and completed the initial setup so let's open up this application scroll down and here you can see guys now security level is l1 after the security level have been restored to l1 you can enjoy hd content on ott platforms so guys this is only the official way right now by which you can restore your widewind security level from l3 to l1 because even i tried multiple ways to restore the widewind security level but nothing happened up and finally i had only one option and that was to contact oneplus support team so guys i hope this way you guys can also restore your widewind security level to l1 but before starting the process make sure to take a backup of your device and to shoot this video i had to coordinate with oneplus support team for almost 10 days so do consider hitting a like to this video so guys as of now only this much in this video i hope this will fix all your issues related to widewind certification and if you guys have any kind of issues you can drop me a message on a telegram group so this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video